everything recorded, seen, broadcast, restored, and analyzed here. They can use it however they see fit, no matter what it's cost. Knowing is good, but knowing everything is better. So, May, is there anything you want to tell us? That was a clip from the new film, The Circle, starring Emma Watson and Tom Hanks. It follows Watson's journey as an employee of a co corporation storing massive amounts of users' personal data. Joining me right now in the Fox White host and senior vice president of marketing here at Fox News, Michael Tamaro. Michael, good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, we've got a lot to talk about, especially lots, these. Lots of, uh, don't touch on these here. things without the, the gloves Every on. particular we'll 20th century, that. century we'll is, Maria. We'll get to that. But first, The Circle, <laughs> up against the record-breaking uh, film, Fast obviously, and Fast and Furious, which is on the cusp of bringing in a billion dollars. It's going to cost a billion office. dollar mark either today or tomorrow. It's broken all sorts of records. Once again, it, this uh, franchise really translates really well globally. The Circle is probably the biggest opening this weekend. It'll come in at number two. Um, it's sort of about a social media nightmare future. Yeah, it sounds, so, sounds familiar. With Emma Watson. Yeah. So, sounds familiar, but what we're all talking about every day, right? Dating, Absolutely. getting hacked, etc. Okay, it, how about How to Be a Latin Lover? That premieres this weekend as well. I like the name. Right? Um, comedy stars Salma Hayek. Ra Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch. And Kristen Bell. Love it. Yeah, Raquel Welch making an appearance. Love it. 20th Century Fox. Uh, yeah, so what do you think about this one? It'll probably come in third or fourth. This is a very quiet weekend until next weekend, which really kicks off the whole summer movie craze with. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, that movie broke all sorts of box office records back in 2014 when it debuted in August. It's sort of a different take on the superhero franchise. It's now, ha it's now featured prominently to kick off summer this year. So. All right, so got Stay some tuned. options this weekend. Some options. Let's talk about this one. 20th Century Fox, parent company of this company, just released a short film bridging the gap between the 2012 movie Prometheus and its newest installment, Alien Covenant. The eighth Alien film premieres May 19th, follows a crew of pioneers attempting to colonize a new planet. Planet, and we've got some props on the we've set. We've got some props from Prometheus, which precedes the latest uh, Alien Universe chapter, Alien Covenant. I saw it the other day. All I can say is, get your Xanax ready. Really? Maria, yes. But oh my God. only I would scour the 20th Century Fox archival lot just for you, days yeah, and days. I know it. Wow. And pulled some stuff. So this is from. See the, that? I got to put these gloves on yeah, because we were told do not touch anything without the gloves. Yes. So here we have what was called the pup. Um, pup? Okay. The character Fifield in Prometheus uses it to. Uh, navigate a, a tunnel. It lights up. You sort of it turn lights it. Up. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's slip, turning. but it's not really showing up because of the yeah, lights it on the set. Yeah, it's hard for the lights on the yeah. set. Yeah, okay. But it does light up. There you okay, go. Okay, there's that. And then, uh, and then here we have this guy? It's called the Elephantine. It's actually a space helmet. Oh. Feel the texture. It's a little not oh, wow. thing, right? Oh, wow. Look at that texture. Yeah. It's a little weird. And if you yeah, can sort of pick weird. it up, you can see underneath where the. So if you pick it up, okay. pick it up. the show underneath is where the, the head goes. Mm. And this is what Somebody the, actually puts this the on engineers wore wow, okay, okay. in Prometheus. Okay. That is, that is weird strange. to touch. It's a little weird to little touch. Strange. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's like mushy. Yes. Okay. And here we have a torch. It's sort of a dummy prop. It's made out of wood. It's like this a flashlight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just a flashlight. I hope my mother's not watching because cool. there's a flashlight in every room at the house. So is she'll there want really? This. She'll yes. want this one. <laughs> Doesn't it's work. It's a big old uh, flashlight. Yeah. Okay. So get ready for another chapter in the Alien universe. Yeah, okay, that's good. So if you are a DC Comics fan, which we all are, we of all course, are. you are going to love this new offer from Regal Cinemas. Let me get your take about this. I yeah. wonder if this is going to take off. Movie, the movie theater chain is offering a $100 Ultimate Wonder Woman ticket. Allows fans to see the new Wonder Woman film at Regal locations once every business day for the entirety of the movie's run in theaters. The tickets yeah. are good for all film formats, including <laughs> IMAX, 3D, and 4D. Good deal? Well, you got to have a lot of time on your hands. And if you can afford that <laughs> ticket, do you have that much time on your hands? That's my big question. And do you want to go see it every day? I know, but Wonder Woman was my favorite character from <laughs> the last movie, uh, Batman vs. Superman. This is all about creating an experience at the theaters. Theaters are in a neck-and-neck -neck competition with Netflix and all these choices now that people have in terms of viewing movies and, and uh, shows. So we'll see how this takes. You know, the, the big challenge for DC is to really make a good movie. The last couple of movies in this universe have not been that great. Mixed reviews, so there's a lot. They don't like the storyline, or this just you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and Deadpool have sort of changed the entire genre. Mm -hmm. You know, they, it's a different take on that movie, and we'll see how it does. Yeah, really big weekend. A lot on the line. Wow, yes. we're, we're approaching that big summer season, huh? Michael, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much, Michael Tamara.